Hey guys, I'm Brian, and today I have an update on what a lot of people are referring to as the trial of the century. Um, and much like the O.J. Simpson trial, a lot of people are commenting and speculating and talking about this case with Trent Palmer. Um, in fact, my friend Dan Milliken just put out a video about it. Uh, the AOPA put out a video about it. Trent's attorney put out a video. Even Trent put out a video about it. But look, no one's talking to me, and nobody is closer to this case than I am. Today, I'm going to bust this thing wide open, and I'm going to show you things that other people aren't showing you, and I'm going to show you things that you have not seen with respect to this Trent Palmer versus the FAA case. In case you're new to this and for a little bit of background, if you don't know who Trent Palmer is, Trent Palmer is the son of famous British singer Robert Palmer who gave us hits like Simply Irresistible and Addicted to Love. Trent Palmer and his rock star father didn't get along very well. In fact, it was so bad that at age seven, Trent decided to give up being British altogether and move to the States to seek YouTube fame as a Kit Fox pilot. And it's worked out for him quite well. I'm Trent Palmer. I fly drones for a living and bush planes for fun. Follow along as I journey off the beaten path of aviation. Fast forward to today, not only is Trent a successful filmmaker and pilot, but he's also heir to the Robert Palmer music fortune. British Google estimates that fortune to weigh almost as much as 8 million pounds. Now, sadly, Robert Palmer passed away on September 26th, suddenly Trent's getting a lot of attention. You might remember when this story first broke, I put together a small documentary showing some of the low passes Trent was alleged to have had made by some nosy neighbors. Well, since then, the FAA has come out and ruled against Trent, and they've suspended his license for 120 days. To add insult to injury, the charge is that he violated altitude restriction while at the same time denying his British heritage. This opened the door for the UK Aviation Authority to come in, and now Trent is charged with violating restrictions in both standard and metric altitudes. It's a double whammy. This doesn't look good for Trent. Given that the FAA was so confident in ruling against Trent, I decided it was my duty to head down to the FAA headquarters, which looks strangely like the Nakatomi Plaza building. And just like in my last video, I broke in and I looked for the Trent Palmer evidence box and I found it. And you're not going to believe what I found. This piece of video footage here looks clearly like a Kit Fox doing low passes over a residential area. However, what you don't know is that's not video of a plane doing low passes. That's video of a video of a video of a video. It's a cell phone video of another cell phone taking video of another cell phone nested four deep. And what do we know about cell phone footage? That's right. Cell phone video makes little fake things look like big real things. So this may not be a problem at all. The video they have is not the real footage and I don't think it's enough to convict Trent. So I'm going to show you a couple more examples just to prove what I'm talking about. What do you see in this footage here? It looks like a giant military jet, doesn't it? It's coming down, it's doing a steep... Oh, is it a toy? That's right, that's what happens when you video something with a cell phone. It might look like a giant military jet or a Freedom Fox when in fact it's just a toy. I'm gonna show you another test. Look at this photo here. In this picture, one plane is Trent Palmer's Freedom Fox. The plane next to it is a smaller radio controlled version. It's a replica. Can you tell in this photo which is the real plane and which is the replica? I'll give you a second. If you said the replica is the one on the right, you'd be wrong. The radio control plane is this one on the left. And if you can be fooled that easily, so can the FAA, so can the nosy neighbors. I'll tell you another thing. Freedom Fox is a very popular plane and they've made radio control versions of it. Hundreds of them have been sold and are out in the wild. With that many Kit Foxes out there that look just like Trent's plane, nobody with the naked eye would be able to distinguish which one's the real plane carrying a real full-scale Trent and which one's just a model. Just to drive this point home a little bit further, when this thing first came out, I made a video about it, and you're not gonna believe this, I actually used RC plane footage instead of the real aircraft. And judging by the comments on that video, there are a ton of people out there that don't know a joke when they see one. That went to a weird place, didn't it? So given that the Trentception footage that the FAA had was kind of sketchy, I decided it was my duty to take this one step further. I snuck into the house of the people that ratted out Trent, and I got a copy of the actual raw first-person footage from the Ring Doorbell Cam. Nobody else has this footage. You guys are going to see it here first today. And this is what they took a video of a video of a video of and submitted to the FAA. This is what actually happened. You're not going to believe this. This is it. So you can see Trent's plane coming in here from the top right. It's going down, it's getting a little bit lower. There's a propane tank. They made a big deal about these propane tanks in the document. He's low over a fence. I don't see people, I don't see houses, I don't see anything. Did you see anything in that footage that showed Trent being reckless in a kit fox? I didn't. I didn't see anything there that looked like a real person, a real plane. The fence looked fake, everything was fake. But you start putting that video many layers deep, 
through cell phones, and it's gonna to start to look exactly like Trent Palmer flying recklessly in an aircraft low over a residential area. That's the trick these people use to try to convict Trent. Now, I'm not trying to paint Trent here as being 100% innocent in this. Trent is no stranger to low passes. In fact, look at this footage here. This might be the lowest I've ever seen a plane do a pass, probably since I've been flying. This is incredibly low, it's incredibly dangerous, and how does he get away with it? After he's done doing these really low passes, he hides his plane in the bushes where it can't be seen by anybody, and then he flies home at night and puts his plane back in his hangar. So we do need to ask ourselves, why is the FAA going after Trent Palmer? And the answer is simple. Trent is a really cool guy. He makes flying look like a lot of fun. If you make flying look fun, you're gonna have more people that are interested in aviation. You're gonna have more people that wanna become pilots. And what does that mean? It means the FAA is gonna to have to work harder, step up their game, and no longer can they let a three-week process like transferring a tail number from a former owner to a new owner drag out for 10 freaking months. Sorry, that went a little weird, didn't it? The point is, if you wanna know who is in the wrong here, it's the FAA. This is obviously a witch hunt. They're trying to convict Trent of doing something that he didn't do just so that they can send a message to the royal fan. Sorry, I'm getting a phone call. I should probably take this one, it's the, um it's FAA. Hey, FAA, it's Brian. How are you guys doing? Great. Hey, Jay, before, you know, I just want to say, like, I'm a huge fan of your work. Everything you guys do is so on point. I think, yeah, yeah, remodeling all the control towers, that's money well spent. I've, I've always looked at control towers and thought, what a bad design. We need to modify that. Yeah, so that's, um, yeah, what are you calling about? Uh, no, that wasn't me. Mm -mm, no. Tail number. Yeah, so it was, uh, sometimes I lend my plane to a friend um, and I, I would, I always follow the, so, uh-huh. In the video, could you see my, could you see the pilot's face? Whoever was flying the plane? No, yeah. No, sometimes, well, sometimes I lend the plane to a friend and he goes out hot dogging it and stuff. And, you know, I always say, you know, follow the rules, don't break the regs. But he, my friend's name? Um, it's Trent Palmer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, all right, Mo, do your best. <laughs> Sorry, had to take that call, it's the FAA. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, Trent Palmer, loose cannon, wild card, has no business being behind the yoke, the guy's dangerous. I don't think 120 days is long enough. I think you really need to... Man, this phone, I'm really, really popular today. Huh, speak of the devil, I should probably take this one. Hey Trent, what's going on? No, I haven't spoken to the FAA. Why? Huh. That's really weird. Probably somebody else ratted you out then. Hmm. Did they say who it was? Yeah, that's wrong. I'm, you know what? You know what I say? Snitches get... Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. No. So, uh, I'll, I will help you find the guy because it's not right uh, to be trying to rat people out to the FAA. You didn't even do anything. So, uh yeah. All right, man. Well, if you need any help from me, you know I got your back, buddy. All right. Thanks, Trent. All right. So at the end of the day, uh, who's right? Who's wrong? It doesn't matter to me. I wasn't in Trent's plane. I wasn't in the house of the people who complain that I don't work for the FAA. Uh, so it doesn't really matter to me. I know there's people who have a vested interest in what precedents do or don't get set, and I hope people uh, on both sides... Well, I know who I hope continues the good fight. Uh, I really appreciate what Trent does. Um, I hope this doesn't put a damper on his ability to create content. I really, really do enjoy uh, watching Trent's stuff. And so uh, at the end of the day, I hope he comes out unscathed. And I hope mm, nothing ripple effects into the rest. Did you see it get serious here? That's right, because my script ended. It just says ad lib. It's not something I'm good at. It's getting kind of awkward. So uh, I'm going to plug all this footage into the uh, editor and see if I can uh, make something with this. So you guys uh, fly smart until the next one. Uh, thanks for everything. I just like, like, you'll think of something. Nope, nothing. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.